Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of 1998 Represent. Today we're going to be talking about uh, DMX's debut album, uh, It's Dark and Hell is Hot. It was released on May 19th, 1998. It was recorded over um, like a between 96 and early 98. came out, um, I think it was the early like 96, let me see when it was recorded. Uh, recorded between September 96 and January of 1998. Uh, one of the best rap debut albums of all time. Uh, the genre that Wikipedia has it listed under is East Coast Hip Hop or um, Horrorcore, H-O-R-R-O-R, -R -R, which is um, called a Horror Hip Hop, Horror Rap, Death Rap. Hip Hop or Death Rap is a subgenre of hip hop music based on horror themed and often dealing and often uh, darkly uh, transgressive lyrical content and imagery and its origins derived from certain um, hardcore hip hop and gangster rap artists, artists such as the ghetto boys. So um, definitely very an apt genre for uh, this album. Um, like I said, one of the best rap debut albums um, ever, I would say. Um, let's see. And Rolling Stone ranks it at my notes here. Um, ranks it at number 22 on their top 200 hip-hop albums uh, list, which was from a couple of years ago. And I actually have that excerpt up here. Let me see if it's... Uh, there it is. So it's ranked at number 22. Um, and then it says... Emerge this is directly from the Rolling Stone article. There will be a link in the description to check this out. Um, emerging from a childhood scarred by poverty, abuse, and incarceration, Earl Darkman X. Simmons... Uh, came hungry and heartfelt on his five-time platinum debut. In 1998, he was the undisputed hob hottest rapper in the game because of his technical ability on songs like uh, Get, At Get At Me Dog, but his debut LP revealed a multifaceted, emotionally rich tangle of uh, contradictions and confessions. X was boastful in Rough Riders Anthem and prone to grisly murder scenarios, X is coming, um, but he takes a moment for an earnest a cappella prayer in, to the heavens in prayer. He raps as, tempta as temptation in Damien and as God in the convo, airing his demons and aspirations, painting both the horror of his existence and power of his triumph. So uh, 22 out of the, um, again, ranked 22 by Rolling Stone as their greatest hip-hop albums of all time. Uh, the track listing here for the, there's a couple of different versions of the album. There's the Original release, and then there's like a reissue that each, that features one extra track. Uh, but track number one is the intro. Track two is Rough Riders Anthem. It's basically like stop, drop, set them down, open up, shop, or however it goes. It's a good intro. Then there's uh, Messing with D, obviously not really called out on the album. But uh, there's The Storm, which is a skit. There's a couple of skits on the album which are actually pretty funny. That's one of them. Because uh, in the storm, it's got this one guy's like, oh, you hear about this guy X, man? This guy is, like, crazy. This guy's doing this and doing that. And then the other guy's like, man, I know your pops. And you're like, uh, you need to get your stuff right is what, what, how that goes. I'll, you should ch uh, definitely check it out. It's, uh, like, you can stream it or whatever. There's uh, Look Through My Eyes at track five. Get At Me, Dog, as track six. Uh, Let Me Fly is track seven. X is Coming is track eight. One of my favorites and definitely one of the darker songs on the on the album. Uh, Damien is track number nine, which is actually a pretty good one as well. There's uh, track ten is how's it um, how's it going down. Eleven is Mickey. It's another skit, just like a 25 second short skit. It's pretty pretty funny. I actually think it's kind of hilarious. But uh, there's Crime Story at track number twelve. Stop being greedy is thirteen. Uh, ATF is fourteen. There's uh, for my dogs is track fifteen. Sixteen is I can feel it. Then you have Prayer, which is another skit. It's a skit, but it's a more it's not like a like a funny skit like the other skits are. That was pretty serious. There's uh the convo and uh players done uh done started something, obviously not called that on the album. And then in the two thousand reissue, there's the uh a live version of the Rough Riders anthem. Um I believe DMX he released another album later in the year, which is Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. And uh, we'll probably talk about that album a little bit later in the year. But um, he became the second rapper to have two albums in the same calendar year debut at number one. Um, obviously, there was um, In Stark and Hell is Hot, and then his second one, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. The other rapper that did that prior to that was uh, Tupac with the uh, two 
posthumous albums that were uh, under the Machiavelli um, like moniker, if you want to call it that. Uh, there's the HBO documentary, which is on HBO. You can stream it. It's um, basically, it's just a life in the year of DMX after getting released from prison in 2019. Kind of like chronicles most of the stuff leading up to, um, like, around the time of his, his death, unfortunately. Uh, so there's that. Like I said, one of the greatest uh, rap debut albums of all time. Uh, definitely, you know, like, definitely worth checking out. Definitely, um an amazing album um, rap music in 1998 specifically but in, in like the late 90s was really on point i feel there was like a lot of really good rap albums in this particular year so we obviously have this one here from dmx there was the bc boys hello nasty um which we talked about a couple episodes back there's also um you know dmx's second album which came out later in the year flesh of my flesh of my flesh blood of my blood we'll be talking about that later the in this series as well and then uh, there is uh, Lauren Hill in the Miseducation of Lauren Hill. So just a very solid year um, for rap slash hip hop. Uh, East Coast rap specifically, I think, was kind of a little more uh, featured that year, I think, because we have DMX. Uh, RZA also put out an album that year. I believe it was called RZA Presents Bobby, Bobby Digital, another really good album. We'll be, be, probably be talking about that one as well. But... Um, this album here, it's dark and hell is hot. One of the, like I said, one of the greatest rap albums like ever, and then also on top of that, one of the greatest uh, debut albums as well. I'm definitely really like into DMX. DMX is just like I liked the like the more aggressive like content. Like the musical production is really good. The beats are solid, but just some of the uh, like the stuff he he raps about is pretty dark and pretty twisted and I, I definitely I like that it kind of takes like there's gangster rap and then there's kind of like I guess like I said Wikipedia was calling it horrorcore which was more just like horrific kind of like scarier kind of like lyrics and what have you um, but definitely check out this album if you have HBO Max I would recommend uh, streaming there or watching the DMX documentary it's um, called Music Boxes, the series, and I believe it's called... Um, let me take a look at what the, what the actual proper name of it is. Yeah, the name of it is um, Don't Try to Understand. So Music Box DMX, Don't Try to Understand. Uh, came out at the end of 2021. I think the Atlantis Morissette um, documentary was first, and then this one. They've done documentaries on Kenny G and other... Um, artists as well, I believe. I, I know there's at least three. I've seen the Atlantis Morissette one and the DMX one, but didn't watch the Kenny G one. Might go ahead and check that one out too, but uh, this is, again, check out this album. Check out DMX's other albums as well. Uh, also the same year, DMX released a, or was starred in Belly, starring, also starring Nas, which I recently saw that at a theater um, just a few weeks ago. They did like a screening of it, and it's really good. It's basically shot like a completely shot like a music video essentially because it was directed by hype williams who is known for directing music videos uh we'll be talking about that movie later in the year as well like again starring dmx and nas uh t-boz from uh tlc is in it and it's just a another really good movie and it kind of showcases um dmx's range so like he does he's like a great rapper but he's also like really good in film as well so and that came out the same year as this. So DMX was busy in 1998, releasing two albums, as well as starring in uh, Belly. But um, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll be back again pretty soon for another video. Don't know what the topic's going to be yet. Probably going to be talking about a video game or something like that, because 1998 was just great for gaming. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and have a good one.